Hi, apa khabar? I'm Professor Dr. Suryania Waka. Currently, I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research and Innovation at University Pendidikan Sukai Idris, Malaysia. I was the founder and head of NanoLab at my university. ASEAN is the home to 700 million people. This huge amount of population certainly has created a huge amount of waste. This includes domestic and industrial waste. If not tackled properly, ASEAN will not be hospitable to live anymore. Hence, we have taken the initiative to reduce and reuse our waste as much as we can. Waste such as glass, plastic and aluminium are already systematically recycled by many countries. However, there are other waste that are not being treated systematically, which are waste cooking oil and waste engine oil. The discharge of waste cooking oil into drainage is deliberate and intentional. As deep frying is considered a delicacy in ASEAN, million gallons of waste cooking oil is discharged every day. Meanwhile, waste engine oil is also dangerous to wildlife and pollute our waters. ASEAN fast-growing automotive industry is generating million liters of waste every day. Accordingly, in this work, we introduce waste cooking oil and waste engine oil as a new and green alternative carbon source to synthesize vertically aligned carbon nanotube by thermal chemical vapor deposition method. This approach represents a circular economy, waste to wealth concept that transforms waste into valuable byproducts that offer environmental and economic benefits. We have successfully developed a prototype that can turn waste oil into super cheap carbon nanotube. This system can produce a few kilograms of carbon nanotube daily. The carbon nanotube is later made into electronic devices such as field emitter, supercapacitor, dye synthesized solar cell, membrane and absorbent for water treatment application. We also mix carbon nanotube with natural rubber latex for electric material application, with ASEAN is the largest producer of natural rubber in the world. The electronic product made has demonstrated excellent quality, suitable for mass production. Malaysia and ASEAN have a lot to gain from this research. By participating in Science Prize, we can use this platform to educate the public to recycle their waste. Waste material around us should be manipulated into something useful. At the same time, encouraging and mentoring new generation of female scientists to carry on this legacy. As a waste oil collector, Dirty Surani Research has added value to my work and created new business opportunities. She has also increased the public awareness on recycling oil. ASEAN as a peaceful and progressive region need prolific female scientists to bring new technology and innovation. Therefore, we need to work hand in hand and take the responsibility to discover new technology that are economical, sustain on ASEAN resources and adopt the circular economic approach.